Hello, good morning students. Today I would like to discuss another topic in the nuclei chapter which is uh, important for the board exams that is stellar energy, carbon nitrogen cycle and proton proton cycle occurring in sun and stars. For this, first of all, you have to know what is a stellar energy. Generally, this will be occurred in sun and stars. So, we can see the simple definition for this. The energy released in the sun and stars by nuclear fusion is called stellar energy. In general, for which hydrogen is a fuel and the temperature is nearly 10 power 7 Kelvin. This will be occur from millions, billions of years. Generally, scientists uh, uh, proposed uh, two types of cyclic process for the source of energy in the sun and stars. The first one is known as carbon nitrogen cycle and uh, second is proton proton cycle. First of all, you have to know what is nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion means the process of combining two or more nuclei to form a heavy nucleus or simply you can say the process of combining two nuclei forming stable nucleus. So, which occur in the sun and stars that is uh, uh, H1 to H12 that is deuterium, deuterium will give so helium 24 along with this energy will be released around 26.7 mega electron volts. This will occur in sun and stars. So, to describe this uh, first initially Bothe and Baker scientists uh, give a cycle named as CN cycle that is carbon nitrogen cycle. This will be occurred cyclic process. Here in general in sun and stars we can say proton proton cycle will be observed. But uh, carbon nitrogen can be used as the catalyst. We can um, both and Baker derive a cycle name it as the carbon nitrogen cycle. How they will derive the carbon nitrogen cycle in a brief way we discuss. See here we have to take four protons. Four protons means proton means H11. The symbol for the proton is H11. Let us say H11. Four protons were required. For this easy point of view. Mm, I can take proton gap proton proton gap proton for my convenience okay proton gap proton proton gap proton easy way so what happened here let us see first of all after combining all these you will get what you will get helium you will get See helium you will get here. Result will be helium 24. Okay, keep in mind. Now, how can you do this? First of all, you take a carbon. Carbon nitrogen. Carbon means you know the formula for the carbon is C612. The formula for that is C612 plus proton. So denominator new uh, denominator numerator. We can say 6 plus 1. What will you get? 7. 7 means what? Obviously nitrogen. 12 plus 1 means 13. So nitrogen 7, 13 which is unstable element. Unstable means it will producing products reactants are equal that means it will producing some gamma radiation. Okay. Now this is unstable that means again it will be divided into two parts that we can say that N 7, 13 again divided into C613 isotope of C612 plus now if you observe reactants products not equal that means along with this to get the stability along with this uh, it uh, produces positron positron means uh, E plus 1 0 the symbol along with this neutrino this is a symbol of neutrino so if you see 7, 6 plus 1, 7, 13, 13 plus 0, 13, along with this neutrino. Now again, C6, 13, 
plus proton. Now, if you see 6 plus 1, 7, 13 plus 1, 14. That is, you will get stable element. That is, nitrogen 7, 14. If it is stable, means you will get gamma radiation. Now, again, the stable element N7, 14 plus proton. What do you will get? 7 plus 1, 8. 8 means, obviously, oxygen. 8. 14 plus 1, 15. Now, product and reactants equal, but this is unstable. So, equal means you will get the gamma radiation. Now, this is unstable element. That means it will again take the divorce. Divorce. That is divided. 815. What you will get? If you observe this, C612, C613. So, here, unstable. Dividing these two. Similarly, unstable. What you will get? O8 means you will get 87. That is N715, isotope of nitrogen. But along with this, you will get one positron and neutrino, antiparticle. Elementary particle, sorry. Now, 8, 7 plus 1, 8, 15 plus 0. So, these are balanced. Now, N715, which is uh, unstable. So, it will be react with the N715 plus proton. So, as we know that we need helium 24. That means if you observe this 7 plus 1, 8, 15 plus 1, 16. So, this is 2 already you will get helium 24. That means 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 minus 2 means 6. We will get C6. 16 minus 4. That is 12. C6 12 plus helium 24. Finally, you will get this one. Now, by adding all these, what you will get? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 protons. That is 4 protons. Gives rise to what you will get? So, the here carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, these are the catalyst. Just use another one. Helium 2, 4. Plus, how many positrons are there? 1, 2. 2 positrons. How many gamma rays are there? 1, 2, 3. Plus 2 gammas. Plus 2 neutrinos. Plus some energy will be released. Here the energy released in this case will be energy released is is Q is equal to that is around 26.7 mega electron. This is about the carbon nitrogen cycle in easy way. Look at this once again. Proton, gap, proton, proton, gap, proton. Like this. Okay. Whenever the output will be the stable element, then you will get the gamma rays. Okay. Not uh, okay. That is a uh, reactance product equal means you will get the gamma radiance. If they are not equal means simply you will get positron with neutrino. So, this is about the carbon nitrogen cycle. Now, the actual cycle in this uh, sun and stars. So, first of all, we discuss about the proton-proton cycle. Now, proton-proton cycle. How can you explain this? Proton-proton cycle means simply two protons, H11, H11, combined to form H12, deuteron. H12 means deuteron. Now, no balance. That means you will get one positron with neutrino. Next will be H12 plus again one proton. Deuteron plus proton will give rise to helium 24. That means 23, sorry. Helium 23. That means balancing there reactants products that means you will get gamma radiation same thing happen once again let it be equation same thing happen once again that is again you better to write here h11 h11 gives rise to h12 plus positron plus neutrino again h12 plus h11 gives rise to helium 23 plus gamma radiation let it be question now this is part one same thing happen 
in the sun and stars again that is helium 23 formation helium 23 formation now these one and two that is uh, uh, if you add these two that means uh, helium 23 plus helium 23 will give rise to helium 24 now to balance the equation what we what will require 2 to the 4 3 3 6 that means two protons will come out actually we know that four protons combine to form helium four protons that's so all actually the condition is four protons combine to form the helium here in this case how many protons are there one two three four five six protons are there that means four protons will combine to form the helium remaining two protons will comes out now to balance the equation you will get the gamma radiation now by adding all this what you will get same thing four protons will give rise to helium 24 yeah plus two positrons plus three gamma plus two neutrinos along with sun energy will be released if the question asked in the competitive point of view which cycle occurred in sun and star that means the answer for this will be proton proton cycle only not carbon nitrogen this will be explained by the both and backer by using proton proton cycle by using the carbon and nitrogen here actual process will be occurred sun and stars will be this process that is up to this one point same repeat the same thing here you will get finally this answer now energy released in this case will be as you know that 26.7 mega electron volts in this way you can compare both this proton proton cycle and carbon nitrogen cycle okay i think you understood this thank you for watching